diciamo, bruciati, ho ancora la mano. We've suffered burns on the hands. Bruciati, con forti, abbiamo, abbiamo Skin inflammation. Dermatiti, ma fortissime. Conjunctivitis, respiratory problems. Problemi respiratori. Non è diventato difficile. È quasi It's become almost impossible to continue our kind of fishing. We've been facing this problem for 10 years now and it's getting worse every year. We've reached the point where there's a risk of a real shortage. This is Molfetta, a small seaside village in southeastern Italy on the Adriatic. Vitantonio Tedesco is a fisherman. He's been burned by mustard gas. In the Adriatic, as in many other seas, the seabed is littered with thousands of mines, bombs and other munitions lost or abandoned at the end of the two world wars. Because of the risk of explosion or release of toxic chemicals, these munitions pose a constant danger to shipping, to the population at large, to fishermen, but also to the environment and the food chain. As well as pursuing efforts to combat piracy, arms trafficking, drug trafficking and terrorism, NATO is working to reduce this threat too. That's the mission of the NATO Undersea Research Center, known as the NERC. The center started off really in the 1950s uh, by combining the efforts of several of the NATO nations to combat the growing anti-submarine threat uh, that the nations couldn't deal with individually. Uh, from there, our work expanded in the, uh, the late 1980s, early 1990s to, to take on mine countermeasures as well. And um, what we're now doing is concentrating more on oceanography and meteorology. The precision and speed of the NERC's technology are real assets for NATO member states that wish to take advantage of it. In spring 2008, the NERC provided the Latvian Navy with better information on the status of objects lying in its territorial waters. Urgent action was needed to make shipping safer in the Baltic Sea, where there are still between 60 and 80,000 munitions dating back to the two world wars. Since 1996, Latvian Navy participate actively in different mine cleaning operations. Their routine work is mine cleaning, but they don't possess technologies that would allow them to, to detect, to identify properly. And therefore, as a small nation, we could benefit from specialists, from technologies developed in NERC. 